Good morning and welcome to Call Your Kids Read. I am Julie from the East Naples Branch Library of the Collier County Public Library. You can join me and your other favorite readers every weekday at 10 a.m. to share stories, songs, and books with you. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Collier County Library for daily morning story times and other fun activities. Today's story time features kindness shown in a unique way. There will be an easy craft activity after I read two books. If you ever visit me for story time at the East Naples Branch Library, you know I always begin with my favorite song, the ABC song. Do you know it? If so, sing along. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you? Sing with me. Thank you for singing along. I think you guys are getting really fantastic at that song. I love when you join in and sing with me. Well, I'm gonna go right into my first book today. It is called, If You Plant a Seed. And the words and paintings are by Kadir Nelson. And it is read with permission today by Harper Collins. Now you'll notice I said words and paintings. So we are gonna pay special attention to the paintings in the book, to some of the pictures. When you do get a chance to come into the library again, I hope you're able to pick this one up, check it out and look at the pictures even closer. If you plant a seed, if you plant a tomato seed, a carrot seed, and a cabbage seed, in time, with love and care, tomato, carrot, and cabbage plants will grow. Look at those two friends. They're enjoying the plants that they grew. Oh, and their other friends want to enjoy the plants as well. Looks like they really want to enjoy those. Oh no, you can see from the paintings, the friends are not getting along right now. If you plant a seed of selfishness in a very short time, it will grow and grow and grow into a heap of trouble. But if you plant a seed of kindness, in almost no time at all. The fruits of kindness will grow and grow and grow and they are very, very sweet. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book, If You Plant a Seed. And as I said earlier, I hope when you're able to come into the library again, you'll check this one out and pay real close attention to the illustrations. That is just a wonderful book uh, filled with a, <clears throat> a great message and some really wonderful images. <clears throat> the next book I'm going to read is called Everybody Needs a Buddy. It is written by Ellen Jackson and illustrated 
by Maddie Frost, and it is read today with permission by Simon & Schuster. So thank you very much, Simon & Schuster, for allowing us to read your material today. Everybody needs a buddy. Everybody needs a buddy, whether clean or green or muddy. Everybody needs a friend, true and blue, who's not pretend. Friends are big or small or weird, with a beak or with a beard. Living in a cave or brook, hive or nest, or cozy nook. Puppies yip and kittens purr. She likes him and he likes her. Different species can be friends, cat and dog pals till the end. Cattle who are old or young have a rough sandpaper tongue. Friendly cows that really click show affection with a lick. When they have some time to spend, bats will spend it with a friend. Snug in caves in stormy weather, buddies like to hang together. If a baby's on the ground, elephants will gather round trying hard to help him stand friendly trunks can lend a hand aphids ooze with honeydew ants enjoy the tasty brew friendship can be such a treat when your pal is oh so sweet zebra ears can pinpoint danger Ostrich eyes can spot a stranger. When they have each other near, both can conquer every fear. Rhinos have an itchy hide. Tick birds like to catch a ride. Picking ticks while rhinos roam. Tick birds love their mobile home. Drowsy otters like to doze holding paws and touching toes, cooled by an ocean breeze, they are utterly at ease. If the weather gets too hot, lionesses choose a spot. You can see them sound asleep, lying in a lion heap. Monkeys sitting in a tree groom each other carefully finding every bug with ease. Friends don't let their friends have fleas. You can calm me when I'm mad. I can listen if you're sad. Everything will be just fine. Two together, we will shine. You're my buddy, have no doubt. We will help each other out. Sharing, caring, we'll get by. Friends forever, you and I. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story about friendship and being kind. And you'll notice in one of the last pictures, the two characters were drawing. So what we're going to do together is make a picture similar to that. We are actually going to create a paper kindness garden. So I have one example and your projects always look so much better than mine. But my example is a flower. Each petal of the flower shows something I did to be kind all week. And at the end of the week, I had a lovely flower that bloomed. So I can show you how you can make your paper kindness garden to make the petals to make the petals take any kind of paper you have any color and you want to make some sort of raindrop shapes or teardrop shapes you want to make several of those I chose a little yellow center for my flower so with your glue if you have uh, some stick glue or regular glue 
you could put the little center of the flower on your page. If you have a large piece of paper, you will have a garden that will grow, grow, grow. Every time you do something kind, you just write that little message on the petal. This one says, lend a hand. So I had helped someone with something earlier this week. So I've added my petal and maybe I helped take out the trash. So I can write that on a petal and you'll see your flower will bloom with every act of kindness. And at the end of the week, maybe at the end of the day, you will have completed a flower. Then when you're finished, what I did, I drew on the stem, so I just used a marker to get my flower stem. And I made sort of a variation of the teardrop shape to make leaves that I could then glue on to the flower stem. So this is an idea for you to create your own paper kindness garden. Thank you so very much for joining us this morning for Call Your Kids Read. Every weekday at 10 a.m., you can stop on by to see your favorite readers read some really wonderful stories. Have a great rest of your day.